Welcome back to the channel guys for another video. I want to look at a few coins, a little recap. Obviously Bitcoin has saw a little bit of a dump which has caused a few of the altcoins to follow it. Alright guys, so um, yeah you can always expect that if Bitcoin is going to dump off, obviously that's going to cause some drama in the altcoin market and it can be the same if it's going the other way as well for those of you that don't know that. Alright, so um, it's always good to be cautious. At the moment, I'm in a little bit of a safe haven. I'm not, I'm not talking about safe haven, the coin. But right now, Twee to me, Twee is looking like a little bit of a safe haven. And I'll talk a little bit more about that because I think I'm the only person talking about Twee at the moment. All right, guys. So looking at, uh, I was on DIA, right? DIA, obviously we covered this during, during the week, uh, you know, over the weekend and such. But um, as you can see, when everyone was get, expecting it to just go to the moon, it did come down. Did get that bounce over here. Right? I did take my eyes off this for a couple of days, actually, because once I took my profits, I kind of focused my efforts elsewhere after that. But decided to check it out today. I can see that it's come down, it's come way down. And um, yeah, it's kind of finding support over here now, as you can see. As we speak, we're getting a little bit of a bounce, but I don't expect that to make its way back up at the moment. Although it has found some some support, let's put a support line in over. Let's just put it roughly like that over here. Okay, so yeah, need to see it continue in that range at the moment. But yeah, it's very early on this chart. Obviously, it's only just come off Uniswap, and um, now we're starting to see some price history being printed on these charts it'd be interesting to see where we can take out this level if we do take out that level then you know there's not any resistance to stop it from going um up a lot all right guys but yeah it's still cheap right now anyway at two dollars and ninety cents much cheaper than what it was if you would have bought it just, even just a couple of days ago so uh yeah dia is uh obviously one to watch a lot of people still holding this i believe um yeah, there is some promise in this project, especially being the DeFi markets being compared to Chainlink and this Oracle uh, for DeFi and so on. So, yeah, that's definitely one to keep an eye on. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Veracity. Okay, now VRA is one that BitBoy Crypto just did a video on. All right, now I'm not talking about it just because BitBoy spoke about it. Okay. Seeing his video today actually reminded me that I was letting people know about Veracity a little while ago, okay? So if you can see, Bitcoin's got a video which came out today, alright? But I was talking about Veracity on my channel when nobody really knew who I was as well. It was quite early. But if we go back to July, you can see I've got two videos back to back here about Veracity, or, or which at least include Veracity in it. All right, I did list uh, Veracity as one of my hidden gems. All right, um, if you look at the price of Veracity, it's still quite cheap. Okay, let's go on Coin Market Cap. All right, and while we wait for that to load, let's quickly talk about. Oh, so sharing has just been listed on Atomic Wallet. It was now available on the Atom Atomic Wallet. Okay, so that's for free. You know, that's a little bit of news there. Alright guys, but I just wanted to quickly, um, for the Baidao Warriors out there, okay, if you don't know already, which you probably do, but yeah, Baidao is now um, implementing HUSD, okay, as a collateral asset, and this is just a stable coin, alright, and um, yeah, just another partnership for Baidao, I mean, they, they don't cease to uh, amaze me, you know what I mean? For those of you that are saying that Baidao is a scam, you know, all of this just doesn't make, it, none of it makes any sense, you know, to call it a scam and uh, they're just getting partnership after partnership. I mean, surely these people know better, right, than to partner with, you know, a pair of young scam artists from Germany, all right? Yeah, it's not a scam in my opinion, all right, and I've invested in it and, um, you know, I'm not worried about my investment at this point in time. Maybe a little while ago, you know, when all the scam videos started come out, it does make you kind of second guess and think, 
oh no, have I thrown my money into something that's uh, a scam. But yeah, I'm not worried about that at this point. And the rest of the world will see in just a few months when the ICO ends, all right? So that's Bidal, guys. Yeah, um, they are partnered with uh, HUSD Stablecoin now. And that will be a uh, collateral asset on the Bidal ecosystem, okay? To generate the BAI Stablecoin, if you didn't know. All right? Going back to Bidal, actually. Um, it doesn't surprise me, but, you know, they still get a lot of people asking questions about what's the point in investing in a stable coin, right? We're not invested in a stable coin, all right? Buy that has three coins. So for anyone watching this video, that didn't know that already, I'm about to educate you, right? Buy DAO has three coins, right? Although they have two coins, okay? But there's three coins which make up the Buy DAO, uh, you know, there's three coins, okay? One of them being B BNB, which is used for collateral, okay? So that's the Binance coin, BNB, all right? You get the BAI, which is the stable coin, all right? And these partnerships will like, help generate that, for example, okay? And you also get the BID token, BID, okay? Which is the governance token, which is the one that you're investing in, which is the one that can go up and take you to the moon or the one that can go down and take you to zero for those that think it's a scam, all right? But BID is the coin that you're investing in, all right? Guys, it's really important that you read the white paper when you're looking at projects like these, all right? I don't really need to be the one answering all your questions about buy down because a lot of the answers are on the website, in the white paper, in the, you know, token statement and so on. Okay, guys, so, and you can also go in the Telegram group and you can ask questions in there and the admins will answer you and whatever. I've also been accused of being a buy down channel that makes a video about something else every now and again to make it look natural. All right, the, the kind of comments that I get are just ridiculous sometimes, guys. You know, for, for anyone who's been watching my channel knows that I'm not just a buy down channel, all right? And they also know that, you know, we're making money on this channel, all right, guys? So, yeah. Anyway, so going back to Veracity, VRA, what we were talking about. Um, right, so yeah, I was talking about VRA months ago, all right, and um, it's still quite low cap, okay, it's still under 5 million, all right, guys, uh, just over 4 million actually. So, you know, the total supply is uh, 10.8 million, okay, it's ranked 743, and the price hasn't really done much yet, all right. If you don't know what it is, it's a reward based platform for esports, gaming and video entertainment one of the reasons that i pointed out veracity is the fact that they are working with all of these platforms right here platforms like for example one that you're watching now youtube twitch vimeo jw player flow player and i don't know these other three but some of you guys in other parts of the world might all right but yeah veracity is definitely um it's, it's basically gaming is, is is quite a big lucrative space in regards to uh crypto and uh payments and stuff like that right so this will rival things like player you know um people like you know a lot of you guys out there like player uh, pla token all right um i was making videos about player when i first started all right but um when i think about it player is not really one that's uh it still has some long-term potential like every other crypto in the space right now, okay? So, but, um, yeah, player is not, for me, it's not, um, it's not a safe investment, okay? And one of the reasons that I did initially invest in player was because of their link with sharing, all right? And sharing put them on the map. Some people were saying that, oh, you know, some people didn't actually know who sharing was, but sharing, definitely a low-cap hidden gem all right and i'm not I'm, I'm surprised that not a lot of people are talking about sharing and these guys are talking about player all right well yeah going back to veracity okay so on their roadmap they have got a few things in the pipeline okay so we're looking at quarter three 2020 all right at the moment they've got tournaments okay gaming tournaments going on referrals and affiliates all right and notifications for vera wallet okay um obviously they've got this thing called the esports fight club all right so you can go and check that out guys for you gamers out there i'm not much of a gamer so you know don't talk to me about gaming because i don't know much if you're talking about crypto i'm into the crypto okay then we've got the streaming features with veracity uh, with ad stack and coming in q4 and we've got the test net 
also coming in the first quarter of 2021. Okay, and they've also got a main net coming in the second quarter of 2021. Okay, so there's some exciting things ready for Veracity, whether it can really take a nice bit of market share from the gaming space, we'll have to wait and see. All right, but they are obviously doing the sponsored videos now with people like BitBoy, all right, so the marketing is going to be picking up for that, potentially. All right, okay, so we've talked about Veracity, we've talked about Dyer. One that I wanted to cover is Kusama, all right? Um, we spoke about it earlier today, okay? But just for an update, you can see that Kusama has taken off a little bit more, okay? So when we spoke about it earlier, it was up about 50%, okay? Now, this is not, um, it says it's up about 64% right now, but from the time that we uh, looked at it, it's actually gone up like another 50%, all right? And obviously, this is the uh, resistance line that I was looking for it to cross the other day okay and we can see they actually made about a hundred percent from then all right guys so if you are in veracity um veracity if you are in kusama well done all right and um, potentially a lot further for that to go potentially all right guys but it has gone up quite a bit i'd be cautious right now um we're putting it we're putting any money into this at the moment all right because it is very volatile. This is crypto at the end of the day. This can just dump off. If Bitcoin takes a dump, this can dump off. I believe when Bitcoin was falling earlier, it did drag this down a little bit with it. And we can see this potential hanging man doji over here. All right, so we can, might might see it dwindle off to the downside, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, I was wrong about Kusama. When I got out, I got shaken out over here. All right, guys, I did buy back in when we crossed our um, resistance line and I took a very small profit on Kusama yeah Kusama right now I am playing it very safe all right guys because there's some uncertainty with what's going on with Bitcoin all right and I don't want to see red candles when I'm in a coin all right especially don't want to see this all right guys this has a potential to drop much further it even looks like it's getting ready to do that potentially now all right but we will have to wait and see. Obviously, you know, I trade mostly BTC pairs, okay? But right now, like I said, I am in tweet, all right? And this is the USDT pair, okay? And obviously, we've seen this just keep continuing up and up and up, all right? Tweeba is a hidden gem for sure. This is now over $43, guys, all right? And we were buying Tweeba when it was just under $9, all right? If you were following me on that, sorry. Now, I would never recommend anybody to jump in and buy something like this, especially when it's just been going up and up and up since December and it hasn't had a correction or anything, all right? But right now, this is the safest coin, the safest coin that I've actually been sitting in, you know, and, it, and it's strange to have to, to be able to say that, all right? But it hasn't let me down, okay? I've seen much more... And I've seen, what, what's it, 10, 25, all right, 300% gains potentially in this already, okay, like I said, I was buying in around a $9, $10 mark, all right, and um, now we're at $43, you know, and I do expect this to continue up, all right, uh, it is holding these lines, and until I see something different happening in this chart, I mean, the trend is your friend until the end, all right. Uh, one thing I will say about Tweeba, okay? Um, now, if you don't know what Tweeba is, right? There are some other videos that I've done on Tweeba, okay? And you can actually go and check those out. Alright, guys. You can go and check those out on the channel if you want to know more about Tweeba, okay? But the main thing that interested me about this project was the fact that they had this Rockefeller connection, okay, Stephen Rockefeller Jr., okay, and he's a fifth generation Rockefeller, okay, if you don't know who the Rockefellers are, you can go and Google them, in fact, I'll probably just do a quick Google search for you guys in a minute, but one thing I wanted to show you is this Chinese television channel, okay, where I found Tweeba, it looks like they have been on TV in China, okay, this is from the 2nd of January 2020 on YouTube, all right, as you can see, if I unmute it,
Okay, my sound is gone. Where's my sound? Okay, never mind. Okay, so basically, it's in Chinese, all right? So I don't understand what they're saying. It just interested me, the fact that they are on TV. And, you know, there you see the, the founder, um, Vera Wang. Is it Vera Wang? Margaret Wang, sorry. <laughs> Margaret Wang, okay? And she's taking pictures there with Steve C. Rockefeller. All right, they're on TV in China. All right, you can go and watch that. You know, if you type in Tweebo, you'll find it. And, you know, they've got, I, I could tell it's TV because they've got adverts for other stuff as well. All right, popping up on there and so on. You can see the Chinese adverts and stuff like that. All right, guys. So, yeah, they are getting coverage. I mean, we might not hear about them. But there's a whole other world out there, guys. You know, I mean, China is one of the, I'm sure it's the most populated place in the earth. I mean, they've got an army alone of like 200 million alone, okay? But yeah, that's Tweeba. Now, if we look at the Rockefeller connection, right? In fact, let's just go quickly to the website, okay? Let's jump off that. Let's go to Coin Market Cap. And let's put up Tweeba. Okay, covering quite a lot in this video for you guys, aren't I? I normally only do like one or two coins, or but as you can see, look at that, that's just crazy, guys. Right, so we're on the website now, okay. As you can see, we've got Stephen, C, uh, Stephen Rockefeller Jr., the fifth generation of the Rockefeller family, Tweeba's core team member, okay. So he's a core team member, guys. We've also got the likes of Kevin Harrington. All right. Now, if you don't know what Shark Tank is, if you're in America, you probably will. And if you're watching this channel and you're in America, then you're probably into investing and business and stuff like that. So, yeah, Shark Tank is basically an investment TV program. Over here, we have Dragon's Den, all right, in the UK. And we've got different entrepreneurs on there. But this guy's name is Kevin Harrington. He's actually the creator, the, the inventor of the infomercial. All right. And he's pushing Tweeba too. All right, guys, he's a, he's a billionaire. He's got multiple businesses. All right, boy. Uh, yeah. So let's go to uh, Google and let's find out why I'm so bullish when I hear the name Rockefeller. Just for those that don't know, because a lot of you guys probably will. All right. So if we go in the Rockefeller family Wikipedia. All right. So you can see the Rockefeller family is an American industrial, political and banking family that owns one of the world's largest fortunes. The world's largest fortune. The fortune was made in the American petroleum industry during the late 19th and early 20th centuries by John D. Rockefeller. Okay, now who is John D. Rockefeller? John D. Rockefeller was an American business magnate and philanthropist. He is widely considered the wealthiest American of all time and the richest person in modern history. Okay, the family has had a long association with and control of Chase Manhattan Bank. Okay, Chase Manhattan Bank. You heard of JP Morgan, right? JP Morgan Chase, okay? And they often do business as Chase Bank, all right? So Chase Manhattan Bank is basically JP Morgan, all right, guys? And we all know JP Morgan, all right? So, um, yeah, that's why I'm so bullish on on, 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 on Tweeba, okay? Because they've got a member of the Rockefeller family in their team, you know? And there's other things you can say about the Rockefeller family, there's videos out there, conspiracy theory videos out there and all that sort of stuff that you can look at um, in regards to, to, to the elite uh, people, all right? That's all I'll say on that. But, um, yeah, and, and, and I, you know, I believe a lot of it, by the way, you know. But anyway, yeah, that's Tweeba, all right? So I'm sitting in that at the moment. Let's wait and see what Bitcoin is going to do, okay? But, yeah, don't sleep on Tweeba. I believe I'm the only YouTuber talking about it at the moment besides Tweeba TV you know um, with De Dennis O'Brien there's not really any YouTubers that are talking about this coin and it's managed to stay under the radar for quite a while all right guys take a look at some of my other videos all right where I go in the white paper I'll go through the white paper about Tweeba I'll go through some of the tokenomics the fundamentals and whatnot go and check out the videos guys if you haven't seen them already you can find them on there, all right, uh, uh, in the library on my channel. But I think I'll leave it there for now, okay? I've covered quite a few things for you guys. Um, yeah. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Tick the little bell as well for notifications so that you get everything 
as soon as it comes through, alright? And yeah, I think that's about it for now, guys. And I'll see you again in the next video.